The second issue has to do with 91A and the lawyer, and I just want to put a suggestion out there, whatever the will of this committee is, that's what we will do, okay? But I wonder, um, it seems like watching the selectmen's meeting, and I, my memory isn't always that crystal clear, so please correct me if I'm wrong, um, it seems as if the uh, Attorney Gerald said something to the effect of perhaps coming here to this board and giving us some instruction, um, and at that time, he would bring the instances. I think he mentioned three. I think, I think you're conflating that a bit. It was the, the, I, there was suggestion in the oratory that Gerald would see to it that we received appropriate training. There was no suggestion he would personally do that training. Well, I was thinking that perhaps we could ask Regina to find out if perhaps he could come to the next meeting, which, by the way, is the next regular meeting is on April 18th, <coughs> he could possibly come and explain to us what was done wrong. Can I, so that, can I be, get clarity on that? Yes, go ahead, Tim. I want to be sure that that uh, meeting with uh, the attorney is uh, not uh, a non-meeting. It's not a non-public meeting, that it's a public meeting on camera. Oh, yeah. Okay, and I believe we talked about that yesterday in the beginning about how I believe that, I, I don't know if we, if we talked about it in a meeting or it was talking to Mark about, because I know Mary Louise had wanted to come in and like look at some emails, but they know, it, I don't know whether it got scheduled or not, but that Mark made the suggestion that he could perhaps bring that when he came here to go over the 91A right. class or well, whatever you Mary want to call Mary Louise, it. Mary Louise is something. making an individual 91A request. Right, but they would. But and there was some confusion that she was acting as chairman. Uh, and she was not. Yeah, right. we know okay. she wasn't. Yeah, we so didn't think she was. That's that's a different track. We're the budget committee. Right, but this and whole conversation is, happened when we were talking about that. Yeah. What it was, what Mr. Gerald. Oh, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. I just want to be sure that if we address this meeting as described, that it doesn't necessarily address any 91A requests by individuals. No, definitely okay. not. All right, that's all I want to clear okay. up. Sonny's uh, been waiting very patiently. I, I read Mark Gerald's memo on the top website his justification he left out some important information the sandwich case the new hampshire municipal association attorney filed a an amicus brief with the court pointing out that, that the town being sued was wrong okay mark Gerald didn't mention that at all he simply tried to justify his 91A request, and I think it'd be nice to have him come to a meeting and, and tell us all. But if he comes to the meeting, I want to know what he found. Okay. Yes, I. Sonny, I, I, I want to expand on that just a little bit. Um, it would. I think it's necessary for Mark to come here and give us the examples and show us what was done wrong, so we don't make the same mistake again. Um, and I'd like to hear his opinion on how we should proceed in the future. Um, I We got into some trouble with sending emails that were CC'd to everybody. And so then um, there was a discussion about how should it be done, and yeah. there was a the, the blind CC. Right, the blind CC is the way you have to do it. was <coughs> endorsed by the New Hampshire Municipal As Association, if I'm correct, but I seem to remember that there was some, it not it wasn't clear from Mark on what he thought the policy would, should be. So I I want to dovetail this into perhaps a uh, that we might think about for the May meeting, perhaps asking the New Hampshire Municipal Association, with the selectmen's permission, of course, if they might uh, come here and discuss. 91A, discuss emails, procedures, and any other things that this board would like to have discussed at that time. Just for consideration, is that something that 
Yeah, like we did back yeah, 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 last year and the last year couple of years. Time, right? Yeah, and so because we don't have a lot to do until really <coughs> September. In September and October when we right. get the budget books. So this is the time when we can do some training. What, what is the issue we have on the table uh, right now? Uh, we're talking about the 91A. We're talking about Mark Gerald coming here. Right, so can we deal with that? I've got another point to make. Okay, go ahead, Sonny. Okay. My understanding of the New, New Hampshire Municipal Association, any elected official can speak to them, okay? The Board of Select, or Mark Gerald and the Board of Selectmen said only the chair could speak to them. And I've, I find that offensive because uh, we're paying them, what, $17,000 a year so that the any elected official can call them and get some advice. Mr. Chairman, again, getting into uh, operations yeah. and policies is not the place for this committee. Okay. And I can't, I can't call okay. the Mr. municipal chairman. attorney either. It goes through my chairman. Well, that's I mean, not it's true, like, Mr. You should, as chairman. an elected official, you are allowed to. Well, that's the policy that's, that's been approved. Policy. Point of order, Mr. Chairman. Yes. We, we, as I asked you and you confirmed, we're discussing the invitation to uh, Mark Gerald to come at our next meeting. Yes. Not in HMA. So may we conclude this issue before proceeding to other also equally important matters. All right. Sonny, hold on with the New Hampshire <laughs> Municipal Association. We're going to continue discussing the uh, 91A and Attorney Gerald coming here for April. Yeah, now that is... Hold on, Bob. Yeah, please, you put your hand up. On the sandwich decision, it's my understanding, it's a Superior Court decision, which has been appealed to the Supreme Court of New Hampshire, has not been heard by the Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. The Municipal removed. Association filed a very interesting amicus brief arguing in favor of the town's right to have these communications. There were all kinds of legal nuances about technology and emails and what constitutes a meeting. So it, the, just, the decision in New Hampshire is still in play. I believe town council's position is until the Supreme Court makes a final decision, he must follow the outcome of the Superior Court decision. That's where he's at. Okay. Thank you, Bob. I believe that Mark Gerald's position is, as he stated at a few meetings ago, that the appeal has been withdrawn. In any case, What's all, all that matters is, is is that we're agreeing, apparently, uh, or not agreeing, to have Mark Joe come in and address the issue relative to the 91A from the past budget season, <coughs> issues related to that. Mm -hmm. Correct? Mm -hmm. okay. And I'm only asking that we also um, include that it be a public meeting and that we are allowed to ask questions. Okay. And the public can hear. That's, that's, that's okay. absolutely correct. There, absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Do we need a motion? That is my motion. Do I have a second? Second it. Thank okay. you. Okay. Ginny has seconded that motion. Any further discussion? Let's open up. I'm ready to say yes. Oh, okay. No. Ready to vote? <laughs> oh, okay, let's vote. It appears to be unanimous. Thank you very much.